sitting there watching a talking head is boring, right? So this week, we mixed our fishing tips in with some actual action, fishing for yellowfin tuna at Washington Canyon off the Delmarva coast. Now, we were catching false albacore and bonita mixed in, but mostly we were catching what we call BLTs. That stands for Barely Legal Tunas. They're small yellowfin, but the numbers were good, so we had a lot of action. Come on, check it out. Get up at 2 in the morning, drive for two hours, get on the boat, drive for three more hours. All right, we got some pilot whales out here. We like seeing the whales, because where whales are, you're going to find squid. Where you're going to find squid, you're going to find tuna. And where you find tuna, you're going to find us. <laughs> Max, would you describe for me what you're doing there, bud? We've shot some chunks of butterfish and sardines. And now, every 30 seconds, just chunk over a handful so we can keep the fish with us. And if we hook up. Hey Dave, why are we using circle hooks today? We're using circle hooks because we have 30 pound leaders which are very light for what we're doing. So we use a circle hook to get the hook in the corner of the mouth to prevent the leader from chafing. Hey John. What have you been told over and over and over about fishing with circle hooks? Do not ever. Ah! ah! Do not ever set the hook with a circle hook. That's right. You'll yank it. Yes, I'm glad you yank remember it now. Right out. That's right. <laughs> you fail. Yeah. You failed the fishing test. Okay. You need to make sure that your clicker's on, so when a tuna comes up and grabs your bait and starts running, that the spool won't backlash. Watch it, get over, get over, get over. That's the that's the tuna, that's not a bonita. Good job, buddy. On the spinning rod, no less. 